Okay, guys, welcome back. We're going to build a convolutional neural network to predict images from the natural images data set from Kaggle. Okay, there's eight classes. So what we want to do is upload that into the Google Colab Drive. Okay. Horizontal flip equals true for both. We're going to just use one folder, and we're going to do a validation split of 33%. Class mode, categorical, obviously because this is multi-categorical. And then subset training and validation. Horizontal flip equals true always for data augmentation. As you can see, there are eight classes. A lot of pictures, but there's no need for dropouts. Okay, dense eight because there's eight classes. And then the input shape from the target shape. Convolution 128. Remember, we want to work our way down to 64, to 32, to we needed to add another one, 16. Only here, we're going to do stride of 1. And then we're going to do an activation fund. I usually like to do sigmoid, but sometimes for categorical purposes, I want to do softmax. Okay, and then... Uh, for better metrics, categorical accuracy, as well as categorical cross entropy. Okay, the model performed all right. Validation loss was a little high, but the product was good. Look, remember how for binary, same thing, you resize the array. But since the rays are on an index, you can't do the percentage thing. Okay, negative 1 and 3. Return the new shape. The Mercedes, predict, prepare. There's the uh, sequences of arrays. And then we compute class label 1 from the data set. Because 0, 1, all the way till. Okay, now for the dog. Same thing. And P argmax to compute. Now for the fun one. Remember guys, image size equals 384 from your target shape and input shape. Read, the, this is the, this is an airbase from Oklahoma. Okay. I just picked this one randomly actually. Okay. Predict, prepare. Class label zero from the data set. Could have gone through all eight, but I didn't feel the need. Okay, guys. And then, guys, remember, like I told you, when it's binary, you do one. When it's multi-class, it's better to do how many ever logits, classes, however you want to call it, along with the... Now, you can always change this to leaky relu if you want. You can always add another convolution, or you could add a 32 here. It depends on the data set. Whatever works. Now, you can always do SGD, but Optimizer, Adam, usually, in my opinion, always performs the best. And feel free to use Sigmoid even for multi-class. Now, guys, don't forget... When you have too many pictures, you don't want to feel like doing dropouts. You can just, and you have one big folder, you can always create a training and validation folder like I did. Okay. Hope you guys learned from this video.